All right. I don't know what happened. Uh, the scheduled recording I had set up for this didn't seem to work uh, today, so I'm just going to try it again. So uh, today I want to talk about the reference processor, RefProc, that is a new feature in uh, OrgRef version 3. And the, the motivation for this is that cross-references are used all the time to reference figure 1 or table 3 or some listing or some section. And it works really, really well in LaTeX. It's uh, one of the earliest reasons we chose to write a lot of our scientific documents uh, with LaTeX because it does such a great job managing cross-references. It has lots of things like clever ref and auto ref that even automatically put in prefixes for the figure or table, including plurality and can handle even mixed, uh, mixed references uh, of different types. And now I want to show you that we can more or less get the same level of support in non LaTeX exports using this RefProc uh, processor. All right, so um, the easiest way to do that is to just show you. And what I'll do is kind of walk through what this um, work document looks like. There's some uh, keyword up here, RefProc, that says use abbreviate and capitalize. You'll see what that means uh, shortly. And uh, this is this is not good. This one's already been replaced. All right. Something happened where I, I had a probably a version left over from uh, from the earlier one. All right. This is what it's supposed to look like. These uh, burgundy links are the uh, orgraph links. They're um, if you mouse over them, you can see what they refer to. And this one refers to these section headings that are custom IDs. So you can insert all of these uh, easy enough by, um, I'll use the, the Hydra menu, right bracket for cross-reference, and then you'll see um, these different uh, contexts for each one. And even if here you should be able to press Control U and press Enter again, and choose what kind of reference you want to put in. Uh, and that's that's that. All right, so uh, this one, this section has a bunch of links to references to sections. Here are a bunch of links to these two tables up here. Um, here are some references to equations. And here we have some listings. So we have several uh, of these listings, and we'll look at what happens when these are out of order like this one, or when we have lots of them like this one. And then we have some um, figures that are here. They're not showing right now, uh, probably because I just uh, reverted this buffer. And then this section is uh, mixed references. So we have tables and sections and listings uh, and and figures all in one. So we'll see how that uh, how that goes. Now, out of the box, this does not export to uh, anything that looks reasonable. So if we just do Control C H O, then um, we're not going to get uh, very nice looking things. Although this actually looks pretty nice. This is already uh, doing the um, WordRef proc in here. That's strange. I probably should have checked all this stuff before I started. Uh, let's see. Control. Uh, so this is already set uh, in here. So let me set this to nil. Um, So you can have a better idea of what happens. All right. So now if I do this, you'll see that we have only these labels uh, as links. And these labels don't even work because these don't export uh, to the right form. So what we do instead is use this orgref uh, proc, the ref processor. And um, I usually let bind it in uh, a way like this. And then when I run this, uh, this cell, we make this result silent. Then we will get um, what you saw the first time, which is now these are replaced by numbers. And you can see here this is getting prefixed with section. 
down here you see prefixed with sections because it's plural and it puts an and in the middle uh, in between here and here it puts commas and and over here. So that's the clever ref part of, of this reference processor. Down here on tables, it does uh, the same thing. Here we have a name ref, it uses the caption of that table. Uh, here we have uh, the prefix uh, that's capitalized and abbreviated. And uh, we get equations that are wrapped in parentheses. Listings all work fine, they get sorted. Um, here, so this this one and this one are in the same order, even though we cited them in in opposite order. Figures get um, the right prefixes here, and I think this is especially uh, interesting that we can have these uh, combined things, and these all get grouped and put together in the right way. So to give you an idea of how this works, um, here we'll just try exporting it as an org buffer. And here we have, um, you can see that these links now are just getting automatically turned into uh, these fuzzy links in, in org mode. Now, this one, uh, when you export to org, it doesn't preserve these custom IDs, so we can't take this file now and directly um, export it ourselves because it's lost all of the information that it needs. But in the preprocessor, that's not, uh, that is not what happens. Okay, so let's look down um, maybe one more example. We have org. Um, we had, uh, we can even do this with, um, with open document um, template. Let's see if we can make it work. I think this is the one we want. And let me add org. Ah. Oh yeah, I think I would remember all of these things all the time. Um, it turns out the equations in this document don't work with ODT. So I'm going to tag these as no export just to keep them from causing that problem. Let's try this again. One day I'll work out why. Uh, and then let's tell this to open this with the system. And the reason you keep seeing one of those errors is that when it returns nil, it doesn't seem to work very well in displaying it. All right, now we're getting an ODT. It should come up in a minute. it. Oh, there it is. I always have trouble with open office on here. Let's try this again.
So we have no export. Something's weird here. Uh, there's the, the usual crash. Well, this is, isn't working as well as I would have hoped. Something is like reverting these files while I while I type here. finally worked. Not a very convincing example, I uh, have to admit. But now we have um, beautiful references here. We can click on them, jump around. Uh, it will take us to different places. And we have uh, everything but equations in this particular Word doc or open doc. And uh, if you were to use the CSL site processor in addition, then you would get uh, the references and these, uh, these things. Um, in there and now it's just crashed so let's just find the basic uh, basic csl.org maybe this one has all of those things that I showed you before and now we can combine uh, the nat move uh, I'll show you what that one does uh, maybe in another time we can do the citation processing and we can do reference processing. And finally, we can export this to HTML or, or ODT. And what the NetMove one does is uh, shown in this section here. It will move this citation to the right hand side of the punctuation in, in all of these examples. So let's try running this and we'll see what we get. Doesn't look like we got the right thing. This is right. Um, these are not right. So I guess something's not right with that move. Nope. Probably it's something else that's not quite right. Um, all right. So I guess that's happened because of something I did yesterday. So maybe I'm just going to delete this whole uh, this whole video and and try it again on another day um, after I figure out what happened here. Um, all right, so thanks for listening and watching if, if you were here. And uh, if nobody's watched this at this point, I'm just going